First idea was really to create a sculpture in motion. We knew the car had to be extremely beautiful. After all, our inspiration was the Horsch 853. A long hood, dramatic proportions. The Grand Touring is about the romance of the journey. So we had to deliver on that level. A comfortable car, a car you want to stay and spend time in, and also a car that you want to drive. And I thought it was a perfect story, you know, to try to recreate this romance about using a car. It's very natural for a designer to design experience. The car comes after him. I wanted this interior to be more like a chic salon. We had to find a way to make that extremely elegant car become this driving machine. And this involved a change of geometry. Skysphere has two distinct personalities. It's a grand touring car with a long wheelbase, and it's automated in that mode. But it's also a sports car. In that mode, it's got a, a short wheelbase. This element uh, becomes a key uh, element into this transformation. That's where the magic happens, you know, the synchronization of this movement brings the steering wheel close to you. To have this interior changing completely of personality is fantastic. Go again, go again. <laughs> yeah. And it's all about driving dynamics, about the thrill of driving. I love about this car. It's got the streamlined look of uh, a speedster. When the car changes uh, its uh, shape, it changes also the light. I love the way we reinterpreted the iconic Audi single frame, you know. Of course, we don't need a radiator anymore. So we created this, this jewel on the front. I, I'm always in quest of perfection. Sometimes it's a problem. Yeah, but the thing is, we never had designed this. This was never in the data. Uh, it doesn't make me a very easy person to live with. That's really a fantastic Audi face. We sketch a lot by hand, but we engage very early on 3D models. Right away, after a few days, we can put on the goggles, the VR goggles, and, and have a discussion about what they created, what they have to change, if it works. You know, it's very soft. I would do it more defined, Kaye. Another idea was to go to a green. Yeah, that's the one. No, hey, that's the one. The green is the one. All the material inside are a tribute where this car was born in California. The wood is eucalyptus. We developed the data here in Malibu and send it overnight to Germany. But I think it's super interesting to take what we did last time and we did do it dark with the same feeling. This is cool. And you work and you argue about one millimeter on the line, you know, and you can be uh, your typical idiosyncratic designer, you know, fighting about things that nobody will notice. This is what we like the most. And I'm fine, I have to say, guys. Side view is for me. It's done. We tried so many things. I mean, we tried moving the, the windshield a little bit forward. We tried different size of cabin, different size of hoods. Only this works. It's a relief, you know. You, you actually see that it's happening. <laughs> it's not all virtual, you know. It comes to reality. It's better than what I would imagine, you know. I only saw them through the goggles, and now it's really in front of me. That's incredible. I mean, what a challenge, right? To try to create two cars in one. <laughs>